Hi everyone and welcome back to Interview Chronicles Season 3. Today we are in the 14th episode of this series and we have Zaina here with us who has been recently placed at Tata Motors as a part of a campus placement at VIT. Uh, this is a core placement so it is definitely an interesting video to watch. And before we talk to her, let's look at the eligibility criteria. All the BTEC co branches were eligible, provided they had a CGPA of 6 or 60% in 10th, 12th, as well as in the pursuing degree with no standing arrears. Now, let's go ahead and talk to Zaina and understand her experience interviewing with Tata Motors. Hi, Zaina. Firstly, welcome to my channel and congratulations on your placement. Hello, thank you so much. Yeah, so would you like to introduce yourself first? Uh, yes, sure. So I am Zaina Mishini. I am currently pursuing my electrical and electronics engineering from the IT channel. And I have been born in Bordeaux and I was happy to Okay, okay. Thank you so much. Uh, you can now tell us about the placement process, like how many rounds were there and what they comprised of for your company. Yeah, sure. So I am selected uh, in Tata Motors right now. There were basically three rounds. First was the written round, second was technical interview, and then it was followed up by the HR interview. Okay. For the written round, we had uh, around four sections. First was English, second was quantitative aptitude, third section was attention to detail, and fourth was the technical domain uh, written round. Okay. After that, uh, shortlisting was done, and we received the results about three or four days after three or four days and then for the technical interview uh, it started with my introduction uh, and then he asked me about my schooling my co-curricular activities and uh, about my projects and internship mentioned in my resume so okay. it was mostly resume based okay. he asked me questions on my projects and whatever i have done in my internship what are the pieces of it and how am i going to implement it and what are the challenges i face okay and that uh, later, it continued uh, with a discussion of electric vehicles because Tata Motors is working on electric vehicles. Hmm. So, he asked me about the motors which we used in electric vehicles hmm. and why are there different kind of motors which are used in electric vehicles. Okay. I explained him about the advantages and disadvantages of them and uh, there was a question that why don't we have a standard uh, motor for an electric vehicle. Hmm. So, uh, I answered it about like it depends on uh, after that, uh, he asked me what were the risks and challenges I faced and how did I overcome those in okay. my internship or mm -hmm. And I explained him about that. And uh, pretty much that was uh, like technical, my technical knowledge was based and judged uh, mostly on my project and whatever I mentioned, he cross questioned me about them only. There was nothing coming new and asking, like, tell me about this or that. It was always the resume based technical interview was that. Okay. And um, after an hour or so, we were called for the uh, HR interview. So the HR interview was quite frank, kind of an interview. It was not, he uh, didn't ask me very professional questions. It was just like, uh, what do I think about Data Motors and why do I want to join it? Okay. And what is uh, so I told him that uh, like Tata is a very big company. So he cross questioned me about that. Reliance is also a big company. Mm. So Tata Motors, why it's always Rat and Tata and not Ambani. Mm. So I got this line from my dad and I told him that Ambani is a businessman mm. and Rat and Tata is an inspirational personality. Okay. So I think that was a punch uh, I gave him during the HR interview. Okay. Uh, and then he asked me about what do I think about the team and how I'm going to handle it. And um, and uh, am I flexible with the location, working in different locations, and also am I flexible in working in cross-functional fields because it is not necessary that I be assigned only an electrical or electronic job. Hmm. It may be related to domains. Hmm. So I said that yes, they give me a pro proper training what I need to uh, need to be done, so I can like they were checking that how flexible I am with location and my job too. Okay. So that was it. Okay, okay. That's really great. Thank you so much for sharing your experience. And do you have any suggestions for any of your juniors or anybody who wants to, who's especially from Tripoli or uh, to get into good companies? Uh, 
Uh, I think uh, I've also given an interview of a Snyder lecture before and uh, the lines also. Okay. I did my internship from the lines industries. Okay. It was also a campus recruitment process only. So yeah. I think that uh, whatever they generally ask in interview is mostly resume based. So you need to be uh, very crisp with whatever is written in your resume. You need to be prepared with each word and each project, whatever you have mentioned. Because they don't bring up new topics. As electrical and electronics is a very wide subject. So it's definitely not possible to cover everything and know everything about what is going on. Hmm. So I think you need to be very clear with whatever details you have mentioned in your resume, the projects you have mentioned, the internships you have done. You need to be very good and efficient in that. Apart from that, I think that uh, a bit of separation of what the company does is important. Like, uh, by preparing for Tata Motors, it is like they're working for electric vehicles. So, certain basic of electric vehicles that whatever electrical domain is involved with electric vehicles. Very basic knowledge, not all the formulas mm. or functions about that. But uh, what actually goes behind it. So, they just try to check your concept and always be sure that whatever you say or whatever you do, whatever words you use, you need to know what it is. Mm. Just don't like use some words that you need to be like, oh, I know these all things, mm. but later when they cross question, mm. you won't be able to pass for it. So that doesn't uh, portray a good image. And mm. it's always fine if you don't know anything, you can just be like, uh, according to my understanding, I know this much and I may learn it or I'll know it later because they don't mind that much rather than saying some false answers mm. you don't know that with the bad yeah. So I would say that you need to be true and honest with yourself, whatever you know, and also with the resume. Hmm. And uh, that's pretty much what they ask in the technical interview. That's what they check. That whatever you have written, at least you know that. They don't expect you to know everything. Hmm. Hmm. So I think that is the advice I want to get to my junior. Okay. Okay. That's great. Thank you so much for sharing your experience and for the suggestions. And yeah, I'm sure it will help many people. Thank you. Thank you all for watching. Please do like, share, and subscribe if you found this video helpful. And stay tuned, a lot of interview experiences are coming your way in the next few days. Thank you.